And today I want to talk a little bit about um, heart disease, okay? Uh, that's uh, uh, two words that cover a lot of territory. Um, there's um, many, many, many uh, different forms of heart disease. Uh, they're all nutritional deficiencies, okay? There are no genetic heart diseases. There are no autoimmune heart diseases. And in many cases, things that doctors are calling a heart disease are really uh, osteoporosis of the skull squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, you know, like atrial fibrillation, the regular heartbeat, tachycardia, fast heart rate, bradycardia, slow heart rate. Those are all caused by the skull squeezing the 10th cranial nerve, resulting in these uh, rhythm issues, Okay. And doctors get it all wrong because they want you to believe it's a heart issue. No, it's actually osteoporosis of the skull. So that's why one of the books I want you to get is, um, let's see here, it's all in your head. It's all in your head. There's 25 different diseases we cover that are caused by osteoporosis of the skull, squeezing the 12 pairs of cranial nerves and the spinal cord. Okay? So um, in addition to those issues, um, and, of course, you need the 90 essential nutrients. You need the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. That's what we came out with that. Uh, it actually has 215 nutrients in it. The core is the 90 essential nutrients, the Healthy Start Pack, and we added, um, let's see here, 115 other nutrients to it, okay? And so we have the Healthy Brain and Heart Pack. And then um, there's um, congestive heart failure where the heart, it doesn't beat efficiently. It dilates, and you start getting a demon swelling in you know, your legs and feet and hands and face and so on because the heart is inefficient. And uh, doctors want you to believe, well, you're getting old. You know, congestive heart failure is quite common. Well, it's actually caused by deficiency of a single vitamin, and the heart dilates when you're deficient in that vitamin, and the valves don't meet. The valves are just um, um, little sheets of connective tissue, the same stuff your discs are made out of your, in, you know, between your vertebrae. There are little thin sheets of this disc material, if you will, connective tissue, and they don't meet well, and so you get backflow, uh, regurgitation up into the atrium. And, of course, what's the doctor's solution here? Oh, they want to do surgery and put um, Macau um, heart valves into you. Okay. Well, why not give that nutrient? And the heart tones right up, the valves meet again, and everything's fine, without the risk of surgery. Well, but then they don't get their money so they can keep their membership in the, in the um, uh, golf uh, tournament or the golf, golf course or whatever it is, okay? And then uh, there's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease, which causes sudden heart death, um, sudden infant death syndrome uh, is included in there, okay? The hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. Doctors blame that on mothers laying on the babies and suffocating them. That's how ignorant the doctors are about these things. The mother's laying on the babies. Well, actually, 99.9% .9 of those babies who died of sudden death syndrome died in their crib. So I made them change the name to crib death because the mothers weren't laying on the babies. But that's what doctors were saying. And I don't know how many hundreds of women in the United States and Europe committed suicide because their churches, their families, their neighbors all, um, what they say, uh, put, put them out away from the community, okay? They, they dissed them. They said bad things about them. They sent them away. They didn't want anything to do with them because they laid on their babies and suffocated their babies. It was all nonsense. It never happened, okay? But doctors got away with it, all right? And, uh, but it's hypertrophic cardiomyopathy heart disease. That same sudden heart death um, is called Kishan disease in China. Dr. Milan and I did 1,700 autopsies uh, published in several languages, uh, three languages actually, uh, Mandarin, Cantonese, and English. And um, this, um, uh, I, I got the, the Klaus Schwartz Award from University of California from uh, Gerhard Schrauser, who was the one who found that that nutrient was, in fact, a essential nutrient, okay? And so we're very proud of that. That award came in 2011. Very, very proud of that award, the Klaus Schwartz Award. But um, then also, um, there's coronary artery disease. That's not caused by cholesterol. It's caused by eating fried foods, air fryers, deep frying. It's caused by salad dressings, cooking oils. Um, it's caused by um, overheating food in every way you can think of, uh, burning, um, roasting. Uh, uh, and so um, it, it creates... Um, oxidative damage, okay, to the fats you're eating. 
And so when that happens, you start getting reactions in the lining of your arteries, and you wind up getting plaque in your arteries. But that's not from cholesterol. It's from um, oxidative degeneration of, of fats, okay? And so and this is all in the book Epigenetics. It's all in the book Dead Doctors Don't Lie. It's all in the book Hell's Kitchen, okay? And it's one of those things where you have to appreciate the doctors missed it by a billion miles, okay? And um, it's really, really crazy how much money is spent. Uh, each year for heart disease, okay, heart disease, uh, is $316.8 billion just to treat the symptoms of heart disease, Okay. billion just to treat the symptoms of heart disease when they're all just simple nutritional deficiency diseases.